So after months and years on years of delays and radio silence on Twitter, Next Defiant finally dropped. It's out on the PCs and the consoles of the world, and the longer it went on from that very first trailer, the world announcement, whatever they called it, trailer, to just beta, delay, beta, nobody's saying anything on Twitter and people are calling it dead on arrival. It started to look like it was going to get cancelled, I'm glad it didn't. And while I think there is a harsh reality for X Defiant, I don't think it's that extreme to where we're just writing the game off entirely from the jump just based off of, well I'll get to that. Because between Dead and Arrival and it's not going to kill COD, one of those is like, obviously. Another in my opinion is just Dragon. But for context sake, this game got revealed in July of 2021 and then it was just randomly placed betas up until now, what month is it? May 2024 and the game is finally out. And normally when it's a lot of delays and radio silence on Twitter and just everywhere, articles and all, normally that leads to games getting canceled. Another example of this, which is ironically another Ubisoft game is the Division Heartland, which was gonna be the free to play division. Apparently they're working on Division 3. That was like a whole separate thing. I thought Heartland was three, my bad. But yeah, Heartland is not gonna happen. They just announced it on the 15th. This is how I felt about it. This is a crazy act to commit on your own eyelids, but yeah, that, that got the point across. The other thing that people were hearing when we did hear things about x Fight was the whole, what would COD do? They were struggling with like the direction they wanted to go in the game and that's why they were pushing it or part of the reason they were pushing it. Another reason was like the net code, they wanted to fix that. We were dying behind walls. But the reality is, that aside, X Defiant is not going to kill COD. That is okay. X Defiant is not going to majorly affect COD. It is fine. If anything, it's better that way. Because Call of Duty does not need to die off. It needs competition. Well, let's imagine for a second that X Defiant did kill COD. We have about, I give it three years max of like you know, decent caring about the game. And then they just take that COD 2K. We got a monopoly on this audience and we finna abuse it. Mindset. Modern Warfare 3 dropped after 2 with very little changes. Granted, they went from developing an advanced warfare to Modern Warfare 3 like very late in their whole deadline situation. So I understand why that happened, but it should have been a free update if we're being honest. People ate it up anyway. They paid 70 for a patch. How one logically does that, I'm not really sure. But in X Defiant's case, if they were to take over COD, let's just say COD just ceased to exist and X Defiant was their replacement they would just do whatever they want because they know they have a monopolized audience gonna eat up whatever they throw out they're gonna start throwing out cosmetics they might even start pushing valorant prices they want 50 for a skin a knife skin one skin if the players talk about their prices bro they ain't got nothing on valorant 18 dollars is the price of the apex skin valorant can get up to 50 like that's crazy and they battle pads don't even give you the coins back like they on another level it would basically go from cod killer to x defiant killer people just start searching for that game that's going to take over and just you know save us from the reign of x defiant when that wouldn't really need to be what needs to happen like cod doesn't need to be killed off it just needs competition so that they can't do whatever they want i'll give you another example twitch yes youtube has like way more live watch hours than them. But gaming specifically, Twitch is like known for that, right? So they just kind of did whatever they want. Their TOS just did whatever. YouTube didn't care enough because it's not really profitable like that. So they just, Twitch was just on their own thing. Then Kick comes along, they start, you know, doing their version of a streaming platform, which is pretty close to Twitch's anyway. But because of their presence, Twitch started to tighten up a little bit. They did not take gambling off of Twitch out of the kindness of their hearts. There was no kindness in their hearts. They did it because of kick. It may not be the best competition, but it's the competition we've gotten. A competitor is better than no competitor for us, the people consuming the platforms and we the games and all of that. And I'm not gonna ignore all of X Defiant's problems, but I'm also not gonna just prey on its downfall because that to me does not make a lick of sense. Especially when X Defiant plays a lot more like the older cause that people say they miss plays a lot more like those old cars than the new ones do. MW3, 2, or in the future, I'm on the one for 40. It's gotten to the point where people have, in a way, gotten what they want, but they're still not right with it. It's never gonna be perfect, it's just not. Let's just take what we have, play the games we like, and bounce with that. And if you're someone that thinks that x Fine can't work because of how similar it is to COD, Valorant exists right now. CS exists. CS2, my fault. CS2 exists right now alongside Valorant and it is okay. And it is a parallel situation. CS has been around forever. Very distinct playstyle to CS, right? With how they hold the gun, how they hit fires and all of that. Valorant comes in, same playstyle. 
they changed art style and abilities. That was the changes they made as far as the CS formula. And it's fine, it works. That's literally what X Divine is. It's called with a different art style and abilities. So for people to go around acting as if it's impossible for X Divine to coexist with COD, yeah, I don't see that. It is possible that X Divine could get shut down, but to say that it's a guarantee because of its similarities to COD, I don't. I don't understand that logic because we have an example disproving that like right now. To be fair though, Valorant's audience is a lot different than CS audience. They're a little more, um, they're horny. That's really what it is. They're just horny. But staying on that all new games are bad, gaming is trash, gaming is dead mindset, just, just leave that. Because keeping that mindset is probably just going to ruin your perception of like any new game and just not give things a chance when you really should. There's plenty of options nowadays. But I'm also not going to act like x Defiant doesn't have its problems. Every game got its issues. x Defiant's being with launch day specifically, which is the day that I'm recording it. it was, the matchmaking was cooked for the first few hours, but I think they got a better handle on it now. As far as the gameplay goes, the sliding, the mantling is janky in a bad way. Like it feels just robotic sometimes, the way you mantle. Also, they cannot throw. So I tried to throw a nade. They probably threw it as far as a seven-year-old could. These are grown men and women. You can aim and shoot a gun, but you can't throw a nade more than six feet. Like we gotta, they need to up throw distance. That's just what I noticed from playing it today. But also the graphics, the game don't look great. I don't really care. I really be turning the settings down anyway, but they need to make the game capable of looking good if you do want to turn the settings up. You know what I mean? Especially on console where that, really isn't necessary like turning graphics down because they cap at 120 anyway and a lot of people that are on console they're not playing on a tv or monitor that has 120 frames anyway so it really doesn't matter for them to have the graphics all the way up and when i said that the throwing and the man mantling is janky in a bad way the movement of it or just how the game feels like super snappy with like the adsing and just how that feels that's janky in like a good way they just cut out all the we're trying to be realistic. They just threw that out the window. And I like that. I think that's a good thing. Like they said, it's an arcade shooter. It's going to play arcadey and like good. Some people may not like that. That's more of an opinion thing. But to me, I think it, it was a good choice. That's like their third distinction from COD. Ever since 2019, it's gotten more and more into this new player friendly, slower paced version of Call of Duty. And there was an article of them saying that we want to have safe spaces for new players. They can just like hide in the corner, shoot a little bit and then like kind of venture out i guess no like yeah you're gonna get beat up for a while if you haven't played before that is okay you'll get better keep playing you'll get better at the game you will be fine we don't need that not that there aren't plenty of corners to camp in in x defiance mass but it's not as blatant at least i don't think it is another thing they did that i do like is that there is no skill-based matchmaking in the public playlist there isn't ranked but not in the public playlist because according to somebody we believe that no SVMM is paramount to a fun and varied game experience in the long term. I'm saying somebody because it literally just says the development team. But yeah, they said it's just not going to be in pubs. It is in the welcome playlist, but they really put that in parentheses like this does have skill based matchmaking. It's for accounts level 25 and under, which is like 99.9% .9 of people right now. But if you don't want it, you can just not play the welcome playlist. So, you know. But all that being said, if you really do believe X Defiant is going to die, or if you just don't like the game, do not play it. Don't play games you don't like. Instead of fortune telling, if you do like the game, but you think it's going to die, just play the game while it's here, I guess. You can think of it that way, because no game has an infinite lifespan. So whether it dies fast or slow or however it happens, if it does die soon, we don't actually know. And you don't have to spend no money. Game is free. You can just play the game, get everything that you need to be at the exact same level as everybody else. The only thing that you really got to unlock is an AR in the battle pass. I remember using that AR in one of the early betas and they just took it out after that. That was, that was literally my favorite gun and they just took it out and they said they were gonna hold it until the full release. It's like level 10 or something and no, you don't have to buy the battle pass. It's part of the free track. Cause when I saw unlock via battle pass, I'm like, that is, that is wild. That's how we know Ubisoft made that game. But that, all that aside, uh, just enjoy games. Don't, the dead game mentality, the all games are dead trash or game is that whatever just choose having fun over the fortune telling and just doom and gloom of games because that's that is tiring i made a whole video about dead games 
specifically. Leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel. Yeah. Go drink some water. Look dusty.